Hi everyone, I just wanted to do a quick video to show you how I made this book review website using Google Sites. Uh, this would be a great way for you to share with your students um, to give them the opportunity to collectively review and write down their ideas about, in this case, a book, but you could use it for other instances as well. Um, so what I've done here is in this Google site, I have created a page here for a Harry Potter book or it, it would be for any particular book. Um, I've added a form and you can see here, we can see the results of that form. So we've got a graph of the rating that people have given this book. And if we scroll down the page, we can read um, people's responses to whether or not they liked the book or, or did like the book. Um, so there's a space there for you to scroll through and see what other people have said. Um, and the way that this works is if I was to fill this form in here, I can just click on that. I'm going to give this book a rating out of three stars. Um, what did I like about it? What didn't I like about it? I'm going to submit that response. And then when I refresh, refresh the page, I will be able to see my response added to that graph. And then when I roll, go down the bottom there, I can see my likes and dislikes added to that list down the bottom there. So what I did to make this, first of all, I went to Google Forms and I've just created a really simple form, um, which I have made a copy of for each of the pages on my site. Um, I've created a multiple choice option here for what would you rate this book and those stars they're just emojis that I've that I've pasted in there and I've given a space to say what I liked about it what didn't I like about it so you can see there that that's been already embedded in in the website and so I've collected some responses and when you create a, a survey in a Google form the results will be automatically created in a Google Sheet, which is up there. So I can just click on that Google Sheet and there it is. There's the responses that I've already collected from that website. Now I want to, first of all, create a graph of the ratings that I can add to my website. And then I want to make these likes and dislikes available in two separate pages so I can add them individually to the, the Google site web page. So firstly, to create a graph, um, on the, the easiest way to do it on Google Sheets is to go down here to this Explore button, click that, it'll automatically create a graph for you. Uh, I can add that. Um, I want it to be a pie graph. So up the top corner here, I just click on that button, Edit Chart, and then I'll get a whole bunch of different options of how I can make this chart look. I'm gonna change that to a pie chart. Um, I can change the, the font and the colors and all those things just by going to customize. Uh, I want to make that 3D because I just think that that looks a bit cooler and it, it, it takes up a little bit less space. But whatever you do, um, you can create the chart in there. And once that cr chart has been created, if I want to go back and add that to my site, I've created a Captain Underpants page over here. Firstly, I'm going to edit that. I want to first of all add my Google form in there that I've created. So if I scroll down there, I can go to forms, find my Captain Underpants form that I've created. Might just do a bit of a search for that. There it is there. I'll insert that in there. And drag it up the top here and I don't want it to take up that much space so I'm just going to minimize that so it's only half the page and I'll add my chart to the other half of the page it doesn't really need to be that long either so I can just drag that up this is all aesthetics obviously and put that back across the page there okay so there I'm happy with the placement of that form what I also want to do is add the chart that I've created. 
so uh, that should be up in my most recent one there it is there sometimes this might take a while if the chart doesn't originally like show up straight away um, it just might mean need some time to process that's the chart that I want to add I'm gonna add that chart I'm gonna just make it a bit smaller and I'm just gonna move it up the top there again this is just aesthetics okay so to create the likes and dislikes in this section of the the web page uh, this requires just a little bit more skill in Google Sheets, not much. Um, so what I've done here is I've created two new uh, sheets, a like sheet and a dislike sheet. I've colored one blue and one red, just again, it's just aesthetics. Um, but what I'm wanting to do is get this information from these columns here and add them to those sheets so I can add them independently to my Google site. Um, so what I need to do is I need to create a formula. Um, so at the top there, it's all it is is the equal sign and then in inverted commas, the name of the first sheet where all your information is held, form responses one, close inverted commas, exclamation mark, and then D colon D or whatever letter column the information is that you wanna copy in there. So in this case, the likes are in D, the dislikes are in E, so that will be D colon D. The dislikes will be E colon E, and then I'll just copy and paste all of that information straight in there. The reason why I wanna do that this way is because I wanna add those two um, sheets in individually. So I'll go back to my Google site page. I will add a sheet, my Captain Underpants sheet, which I've already added. All right, um, that's the sheet, that's the first page of the sheet. So I'm just gonna minimize that so it fits on the site more easily. Um, but I don't want that page, I want the like page. So I'm just gonna go up here to settings. And there I get the option to decide what sheet I wanna include. So I'm gonna do the like sheet, I'm gonna click done, and I'm gonna go through that process again for the dislike. Okay, there you have it. Uh, I hope that was helpful. Thanks for watching.